Okay, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachakwadas, double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone that rule well, peace, blessing, and salutations to all you brothers, as well as your few sisters listening and learning to USA Shalom. All right, this is your brother Malaaki from the great millstone camp to branch out in the morning with um, another lesson in transit, you know, just getting off uh, work. Um, you know, and, and, and just sitting and meditating in the spirit, man, and reflecting. And uh, this is the book of Sirach, chapter 4. And I see, I'll, I'll start up and I'm going to jump down. All right. Sirach chapter 4 and verse 11 Actually it's, uh, It says wisdom exalteth her children And layeth hold of them that seek her You know and throughout uh, the scriptures We see how these men were exalted by Yahweh Sham Yahushai Through what? Through being righteous, through being holy You know uh, I was just reading the account of uh, Joseph You know and how, how the Lord dealing with them And him dealing uprightly Hey, he was exalted within within Egypt. You know, he was he was exalted amongst amongst men. All right, it says, "He that loveth her loveth life." Speaking of wisdom, and they that seek to her early shall be filled with joy. It says, "He <clears throat> he that holdeth her fast shall inherit glory, and wheresoever she entereth, the Lord will bless." All right, and and it has entered into specific men that the Lord blesses from day to day. You know the scriptures say that what that uh, that He daily loads us with loads us with benefits. You know, and, but what bigger blessing is there than to obtain salvation? You know, hey, and it says that seeing that we have received this ministry as we have received mercy, we faint not. You know, so we truly are blessed above all men. Um. They that serve her shall minister to the Holy One. And them that love her, the Lord doth love. So those that love and seek after wisdom, that seek her early, right? The Lord loves these men. Hey, as the scriptures say, uh, I'll grab it. You know, I, I try, I'm trying not to grab as much just because I'm trying to focus on a road. But... Um, How's it written? Um, man, will I look? Isaiah 66 and 2. For all these things hath mine hand made, and all those things have been, said the Lord Yahweh. But to this man will I look. Even to him that is of a poor and contrite spirit and trembleth at my word. And this isn't the one I wanted to grab, but hey, through the spirit, you know, that, that's right, man. That trembleth at his word. Because the wisdom, hey, it says that the beginning of uh, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, you know? So if you're going to fear, hey, if you have that fear of the Lord, what I, hey, like it says, that's the beginning of wisdom. Them that tremble at the word of the Lord. Them that fear the Lord, them that fear Yah Basham Yahweh Shai. You know, but I was thinking of the one in the Apocrypha. It says, uh, in the Apocrypha, it says, um, though a man be ever so perfect uh, um, um, amongst men, yet if he be not uh, without, uh, yet if he be without that wisdom, he shall be nothing regarded. So the Lord isn't dealing in, and, uh, you know, he, 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 it's locking. He doesn't really care for these people of the world, man. Now, yes, he cares for Israel. Yes, the two thirds are going to come. But hey, at this present moment, the Lord is dealing with the elect. The Lord is dealing with the men of wisdom, you know, which he had chosen and set up. All right. Going back to Sirach, Sirach 4 and 15. Whoso giveth ear, it's like a 14. They that love her, they that serve her shall minister to the Holy One. And them that love her doth the Lord love. Whoso giveth ear unto her shall judge the nations. Okay, because uh, there's another one that says. 
that we shall let me see I can just do it here mm. yeah yep Proverbs 22 and 29 I believe there's another one that ties in with this though it says, see as thou a man diligent in his business, he shall stand before kings. He shall not stand before mean men. Okay, uh, the one I'm thinking about, uh, it goes into the different offices and in, in, in uh, um, trades that people uh, do. You know, whether it be a blacksmith, a carpenter, uh, um, a sculptor, you know. And they say that they're diligent, that they, hey, they, they, they're ever perfecting their craft, but that these shall not sit in council, but rather those that 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 give a, a time and diligence and apply themselves to the prophecies, so on and so forth, that these shall sit in council, that these people shall come to, you know, and that's us. Yes, brothers do certain of those things. You know, there might be a brother that's a sculptor. There might be a brother that's a black uh, blacksmith. You know, I know one of the brothers down in Cleveland, you know, he, he'll make stones, you know, brothers will do uh, a different construction jobs, carpentry, so on and so forth. Hey, a lot of the disciples, uh, you know, some of the disciples did carpentry. You know, Joseph, I believe you was shot at the carpentry as well. You know, so. Uh, uh, but even though. We do the we do these things. Our our main focus and objective is prophecy, is the scriptures. All right. Okay. Uh, back in Sirach, the fourth chapter, it says, <clears throat> "Shall judge the nations, and he that attendeth unto her shall dwell securely." Okay, because the Lord is going to provide. The Lord is going to watch out and have care. For his elect. They call I am Yabba Shamil five five five. Okay. Um securely. If a man commit himself unto her, he shall inherit her. That's why it says what? It says uh, uh they they that see I love them that love me, and them that seek me early shall find me. I believe that's in the book of Proverbs. If a man commit himself unto her. Uh, he shall inherit her And his generation shall hold her in possession Right, why? Because A, 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 a true man Of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai Is going to instruct his children in righteousness You know And it's going to trickle down You know, through the spirit Okay That's why it says um, It says that a man that teacheth his, his son you know, his children grieveth the enemy. It says, uh, train up a way, train up a child in the way that he shall go. And when he gets old, he will not depart. Roughly paraphrasing. I'm going to end this. Salaki. Whoops. Anyway. It says, uh, and his generation shall hold her in possession. For at the first... She will walk with him by crooked ways. And this is the basis of the lesson. I know it took a minute, but hey, this, this is the point. So when you first obtain wisdom, when you first grab wisdom, you know, there's going to be a lot of things that come your way. That's why the Sirach, the second chapter is written. My son, if thou comest to serve the Lord, prepare thyself for temptation. You know, all these scriptures come to mind. You know, he, he, uh, uh, he that, that, that calleth on the name of Yahweh Shai, let him depart from iniquity. He that departed from sin, maketh himself a prey. All these things, man. You know, the adversary is a roaring lion, walketh around, seeking whom he may devour. Uh, um, a, uh, Satan has desired you that he may sift you as wheat, but I have prayed for thee. All these things, you know, they come to mind. And, and that's the comfort, you know. But the name of the game is persistency. And passion. We have to have passion. And when you go into that word passion, it goes back to the word suffering, man. Okay? 
because it is written that this this is the way the Lord said enter it enter ye in at the straight gate we must partake within the sufferings of our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach you know and as you and and I could you know I'm a, I'm a young brother myself but I have seen how certain things will get easier Right there, there might be certain things that Satan will, will continue to throw here and there that might be easier, but there's things, there's a whole lot of different things you're gonna deal with and different strategies that Satan will come at you with, you know. And it, it, it's because of the fact that we are still being proven. So rock six and verse seven, it says, if thou wouldest get a friend, prove him first and be not hasty to credit him. You got to prove, uh, you know, and we're being proved within these different scenarios, situations. And there's going to be a whole lot more. OK, a hey, uh, I remember I want to say it was a brother Mathathia. If it wasn't, you know, one of the brothers here in the camp. They said, uh, basically, the more... Or you know what? It might have been one of the apostles. Man, I, I can't even remember, you know? But somebody has said that, hey, the more you grow in this truth, the more responsibility you're... Go you know, it was, uh, I want to say it was a class. You know, the more res responsibility you're going to get. And the more responsibility that we get, hey, Satan is going to fuck with us more. There's going to be more things that we have to do during our day. There's going to be different things that arise, you know? You might think you're, you're, you're okay with one season and, hey, there's a whole uh, 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 monkey wrench, so to say, thrown into, into, into your, your uh, you know, your setup. You know, but we, we have to learn to adapt. We have to learn to adapt to change. All right. If, if, if we want to be found as that gold, the Lord said, I will make a man. And, and I know I'm quoting a lot, but again, it's because I'm on the road. Hey, the Lord said, I will make a man more precious than fine gold, than the golden wedge of Ophir. OK. And uh, one thing, you know, that, that stuck with me that the elder Ariala down in Dallas said is we have to remember a hey, gold is malleable. It's malleable. That means that you can, you can shape it. You can form it. It's 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 easy, man. But to get to that point, to get to that point to where that gold is like that, to where that gold is fine and precious, it has to go through the fire. Okay. Um. It has to go through the fire. Proverbs 25 and 4 It says take away the dross from the silver And there shall come forth a, a vessel For the finer Okay so that's that fire that affliction We you know that, that that purifying Agent man And we're all being tried Constantly Constantly being tried What is man In Job In the book of Job it's written uh, Job 7 and 17 What is man That thou shouldest magnify him And that thou shouldest set thine heart upon him And that thou shouldest visit him every morning And try him every moment Alright In the Apocrypha it tells us that what That the trial of a man is within his reasonings So these things come up To see how we react To see Okay is he going to move in the spirit is he going to do this? Is he going to act up? Is he going to be carnal? Is he going to forsake? You know? And it's all a test. Every single situation and we need to remember because it's easy uh, uh, whether you be around your family members or your woman or people of the world or, 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 or people at work. All they know 
all they speak of is the world. And we cannot get caught up within that mindset, man. You know, it's crazy. Uh, it, man, it, it, it's so easy. It's so easy uh, uh, to, to think carnally. You know, but naturally being in the spirit, you know, that's what we strive to do. You know, walk in the spirit. Hey, but it, but it's real easy to get caught up within within the conversation uh, of certain people, and then you know you, you start to have certain thoughts. Satan will put thoughts in your head that are carnal, and you're like, "Hold on, what?" You know, and you cut it and you rebuke it. But that's the Holy Spirit supping with you, All right? That's the Holy Spirit uh, 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 moving in you, in your in your mind, in your spirit, to tell you what's right and what's wrong. Okay. Um. So it says, Surak 6 and 8, it says, for, for some man, right, it be not hasty to credit him. It says, for some man is a friend for his own occasion and will not abide in the day of thy trouble. And that's what the Lord wants to see, that if we're going to abide with him, if we're going to stay with him, you know. We're not going to forsake, you know, Lord willing, we're not going to forsake the Lord. We're not going to deny him. We're going to stand bold. Uh, uh, for this truth and we're going to confess and uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for um, and give testimony testify our Lord you know it says I testify my Savior openly roughly paraphrasing you know there's no shame there, how can we be ashamed of the Lord and our heritage in this wicked cruel perverse generation Okay, it says, for at the first, Sirach 417, for at the first you will walk with him by crooked ways and bring fear and dread upon him and torment him with her discipline. <laughs> no chastening seemeth joyous for the present moment, but grievous, but it yielded the peaceable fruit of righteousness. All right, it says, until she may trust his soul and try him by her laws. So the Lord wants to see. Yeah, you, hey. We have a whole lot going on. I myself, I feel like, hey, yesterday was, you know, it, it was one of those days where it's like, man, and, and you need to just kind of take a deep, deep breath and just be like, man, <laughs> shit, you know, excuse my language, but man, okay, you know, hey, we, we, we're in this, you know, we're, we're fighting, this is, this, is part of, this is part of the game. You know, this is what it is, and we're going to continue uh, uh, to keep going. You know, we're going to rock it. So it, a lot of times things get heavy, but it, it, the Lord said he's not going to put more on us than, he, than we can bear. And, he, and at the end of the day, he said, what? Cast your burdens upon me, for I have care for you. <laughs> All right. Until she may trust the soul and try and buy her ways, then will she return the straight way unto him and comfort him. And show him her secrets. Alright. But if she but if he go wrong, she will forsake him and give him over to his own ruin. Okay, so that's the point. That all this is necessary. Every situation in our life, all the conflict, all the agitation, all the all the frustration, all the tears, all the 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 so called anxiety, you know, it's all necessary within this walk of ours to grow. To be malleable, to be that malleable gold, to be precious and useful, and and, and you know, and, and be that man that the Lord intended us to be, which we're gonna be, man. You know, that's the confidence we have to have through the Spirit. You know, Lord willing, we endure, but we are being molded. And at times, you 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 can feel, uh, you know, uh, discouraged or whatever. Hey, but that's that's the point of prayer. You know, that's the point of prayer. You know, we understand uh, our background, the things that we've done and, you know, uh, people are going to come up against us. People are going to say this and that, hey, but have confidence within the Lord that what, hey, hey, he, he, he's making me do this. You know, he called me to do this work. I'm going to continue to do this work. I know that this is true. I know the love and the care that I have for the Lord, you know, and, and I know that what I'm doing is sincere. 
You know, you have to, everything that we do has to be sincere within this walk of truth, man. You know? Um, I want to say that's all I had. You know, through spirit, I know it kind of went everywhere a little bit. But Lord willing, I, I pray and hope that that was edifying. Um, let me see. Okay. St. John 15 and verse 13. Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Ye are my friends, if ye do whatsoever I command you. Henceforth I call you not servants, for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth. But I have called you friends, for, uh, for all things that I have heard of my father. I have made known unto you. So there you have it. Yahweh Shai hath called us to be his friends. You know, the Lord is showing us his secrets. You know, he's expounding his dark parables and sayings of old. He's supping with us. He's breaking bread with us. That door has been open and, and, and the Lord is, is dealing with us, man. You know, but we're going to be tried. We're going to be put through that fire and we're going to continue to do so. The point is, we cannot give up. We cannot forsake the Lord. We cannot hesitate. We cannot lose our patience. Hey, that's the rock. The second cha chapter says, woe unto you that have lost, pa lost patience. The race is not to the swift. Okay. So with that, I'm going to say, Shalom. Call Allah, Yahweh, Bashem,